Today on Sports Showtime, we take a look at how LSU pitching matched up in baseball's opening weekend. And later, we'll check out why some Campbell University golf students were all holes in one. Well, that's all coming your way and much more next. Welcome back, Tiger Nation. It's been a long time. Great to have you back. And this is Tuesday night, which means it's the sports desk. Welcome. I'm Bat Brunner. And I'm Sydney Armstrong. Now, some news from today. According to the advocate, an Angola prison hospital transported Billy Cannon, LSU's lone Heisman Trophy winner and current director of the prison's dental program, to a local hospital around 12.30 p.m. Louisiana State Penitentiary Warden Burrow Kane said doctors at the R.E. Barrow Treatment Center in Angola thought Cannon appeared to be having a stroke. Accommodations were made to transport Ken to a Baton Rouge area hospital. All of us at Sports Showtime send out our thoughts to the Cannon family and hope for a speedy recovery from one of LSU's football's greatest. Moving right along, entering Saturday's game against Mississippi State, the LSU men's basketball team looked to finally get back to even play in the conference, and they did just that. Tigers handedly defeated the Mississippi State Bulldogs 80-68 to to become 6-6 six six in the SEC after starting off 0-4. It proved to be an easy victory for the Tigers as they led by more than 20 on multiple occasions and had five players that finished in double figures, including center Andrew Del Piero and, of course, Johnny O'Brien, who also finished with eight assists. The leading scorer for the Tigers was senior Charles Caramouche as he finished with 21 points. But perhaps the most impressive stat line was the Tigers having 24 assists on 30 baskets. The Tigers shot 54.5% from the field as they moved on to 15-8 on the season. LSU looks to continue its hot streak as they're currently taking on the Tennessee Volunteers in Knoxville tonight with tip-off getting underway at 6 p.m. Be sure to tune in on ESPNU after sports showtime, of course, though. The LSU baseball got off to a great start this weekend, sweeping Maryland in their opening series. Sports Showtime reporter Samuel Accardo gives his pitch on what made the difference. If anyone had any doubts about the new LSU baseball pitching rotation, most questions were answered after their opening series against Maryland. Aaron Nola's nine strikeouts in the series' first game should be no surprise after his performance last season. As a freshman, Nola started 16 of the 19 games he played in, posting a record of 7-4 and, and with only 7 walks and 89 strikeouts. He finished first in the SEC in fewest walks allowed and in batters struck out looking, and ninth in the league in overall strikeouts. Senior Ryan Eads was named the second starter for the Tigers this season. Eid says he came into Saturday's game being aggressive. Just coming in the game, I just wanted to be aggressive and uh, just let my defense play behind me. And uh, they made some tremendous plays to keep us in the game. And uh, I think it was a great overall team win. Eid struck out six batters off of the 89 pitches he threw. You know, Noah's got the little side arm, hard throwing guy, and then you got Eid's coming over the top, uh, different arm action, different pitches. You know, they're two tough, different guys. And when you got that with a guy like Cotton coming from behind them. Uh, that, that's a tough mix-up, you know, it, that's going to make a lot of trouble for everybody else this year. When Coach Maneri named Brent Bonvalan as his third starter, the seniors' 4-0 record and 26 strikeouts in 2012 should have alleviated any surprise within the Tiger faithful. On Sunday's game, he threw 71 pitches and struck out three batters in the Tigers' 14-3 victory. The trio of Nola, Eads, and Bonvalan look to take their strong performance from opening weekend and carry it throughout the 2013 season. For Sports Showtime, I am Samuel Accardo. You can see how the pitching rotation continues to develop as LSU baseball just started their match against Lamar at Alex Box Stadium. Tune into local radio station 100.7 FM if you can't catch the game. The Lady Tigers tennis team returned after a long and rainy road trip from California to come back to take on McNeese at Dub Robinson Stadium. The black-clad Lady Tigers cruised to a victory over McNeese State Saturday, 6-1. The Lady started with a sweep and doubles play, earning the first point of the match. The only point LSU dropped, actually, was a super tiebreaker on court one, where sophomore Mar Mar Mary Jeremiah fought hard as the sun set, but ultimately dropped to McNeese's Anastasia Serkova. Senior Ebby Wilson set the tone for singles play on court six with her double bagel victory. This was much to her relief after being pushed to a nail-biting third set for the overall match. Last time the Lady Tigers were at home. 
It's great. I mean, I'm always always love being the first one off the court, but um, the win against SMU was just exciting. Uh, I love when it comes down to the one person. It's a great college tennis match. I was lucky for it to be me that day. Um, it's just fun. The 50th ranked Lady Tigers take on Nickel State this Saturday at Dub Robinson Stadium. Now stick around, guys and gals, as our very own Derek Cop catches us up on a busy NBA All-Star Weekend in Houston. Well, you know, thank you, Bat. You won't want to miss these highlights, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Sports Showtime. I'm Derek Cop with this week's edition of Around the Nation. This past weekend, the NBA's best and brightest stars showcased their talents at the NBA All-Star Weekend in Houston. First on Friday night, we got to see the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt, throw it down with the best of them in the Celebrity All-Star Game. Then later Friday night, we got to see the future of the NBA with the Rising Stars Challenge. And on Saturday night, the fireworks began with the skills competition being won by Portland rookie Damian Lillard. The three-point contest was captured by the surprisingly, surprising Cleveland Cavalier, Kyrie Irving. And the dunk contest, after getting off to a slow start, was won by Toronto Raptors rookie Terrence Ross. But I guess the common question would be, where is King James and CP3 or Blake Griffin and Kobe? Well, don't worry, they're just too cool to participate in anything other than the actual All-Star game. But as always, the stars put on a show when called upon. Chris, and that, that is Chris Paul, your guys' former boy, getting announced before the game. But let's catch up with the action in the first half. LeBron James gives the pass to Dwayne Wade off the backboard back to the King. Big time slam. We just love to see that in the dunk contest one more time. But then CP3 comes back the other way. Behind the back pass of his own to Durant. And later in the fourth, this is just, see, yeah, D Wade, you can't jump like that. That's just too easy for Kevin Durant as he just slams that one home. And then later, later in the fourth, Kobe Bryant is going to strip the ball from LeBron James. And then, yeah, this is all Durantula right here. Boom! Big time dunk right there by Kevin Durant. Late in the game, LeBron James, oh, I can do it. Nope, nope, you can't. And there's Blake Griffin, lob off the backward to himself. And that's the exc exclamation point on there on the West's win. Chris Paul was the MVP. After the game, Chris Paul commented on what it means to him to win his first All-Star Game MVP. Um, pretty special, pretty special. It's something I've never done and something that I definitely didn't come into the game uh, trying to achieve or thinking that it might even be possible. You know, I told KD early in the first quarter, I said, man, if they score anything, you just run. I'm going to get you the ball. You score. I just want to be the one to, to give it to you. In games like this, it's so up-tempo and fast-paced. Uh, a guy like me that's a facilitator and gets it to other people, I enjoy games like this. With All-Star Weekend now in the rearview mirror, the NBA will be back on the national stage with the New Orleans Hornets facing the Cleveland Cavaliers on TNT this Wednesday at 7. And now that, now that we are three, three weeks removed from the Super Bowl, it's about time to start cranking up the NFL draft hype. And no easier way to do that than to prepare you for the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis this week. Scouting Combine helps NFL teams evaluate the incoming crop of college players to see when they should be selected in April's draft. This year, LSU set a personal record and a national best by setting a total of 13 former Tigers, including former Heisman runner-up Tyran Matthew. The Combine is a great chance for former college players to show NFL general managers what they can do and if they are worth the team's pick in April's draft. The Combine this year, along with testing the vertical jumps, 40-yard dash, bench press, and other physical tests, will also add a second psychological test to test the player's ability to get along with teammates and how they believe they will handle their, handle their money once they get that big time contract. The Combine's official days are February 20th to the 26th. Thanks for watching Around the Nation. I'm Derek Kopp. I'll see you next Tuesday for all your national sports news. Back to Sydney and Bat. Thanks, Derek. Now next up, forget the Harlem Shake. Golfers at Campbell University hit YouTube to show off their skills. We'll take a look at this hit YouTube video coming up next. Now, welcome back to the show. Now, folks, every sport has its entertainment and its tricks. Bicycle kick in soccer, dunking in basketball, the fumble rooski in football. But what about golf? Well, these Campbell University students developed their own golfing trick. They lined up nine in a row and putted at the same time, not one, not two, not even three, but all nine balls went in the hole. 
you know, that's pretty cool and very talented and all that, but I'm pretty sure LSU would probably make a better video. Completely agree. Couldn't say anything different. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for a night on Sports Showtime. You can watch full episodes online at TigerTV.tv. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for the latest news at TTV underscore sports. We're here Tuesday through Thursday at 6 o'clock on Campus Channel 75. Tune in and catch up with us. And for Cindy Armstrong, I'm Bat Brunner. Everyone have a good evening. Stay classy, Tiger Nation.